What's up guys, my name's Joe. Uh, last Friday I did kind of a reactionary based piece of content. You guys really seemed to enjoy that. I had a lot of fun making it. Um, so this time I, I wanted to respond to Alpha M's losing everything. What I've been finding really interesting is how people are coping with this. Like some people, you know, some people are, are a, a, a little bit more chilled out. Some people are freaking out because of themselves or for other people, etc. cetera. And um, so I wanted to explore that a little bit today because Alpha M uploaded a video saying how it's been affecting him. And it's, it's more serious for him than, uh, than I would have expected. If anything, I kind of wanted to make this video to share a little bit of how I, how I feel throughout this time, uh, show you know th how Alpha's been feeling and really just have a, a more open conversation with you guys on how this pandemic is affecting you guys back at home because I know everyone has a different story. Also, I have a really important update about Bluemon and uh, being able to make sure that you're getting authentic products. So uh, I will give this update at the end of the video, but make sure that you stick around, especially if you're buying our products through like Amazon and stuff like that. Uh, really important update that you should definitely listen to. So I will have that at the end of the video. For now, let's jump right in, see what Alpha's saying. What's up, gentlemen? So I've started and stopped this video like 30 times by now. First off, two things. There is no Alpha M intro. All right, that's a red flag right there. Second thing, he's using the brick background. If you guys know Alpha, you know he only brings out the big, the brick background when he's talking about serious stuff. So you know that we're in for, for a bit more of a deeper chat here with Alpha. Whose name is Aaron? I know his name is Aaron. What I am trying to say and relay to you guys is that I am, I didn't realize how hard this whole situation was going to be on me personally um, emotionally. So straight away, uh, Aaron is realizing that this is playing a bigger toll on him than, than he realized. And I think that's probably true for a lot of us, especially, you know, at the beginning of this, you hear like there's five, six cases in the US. It's supposed to die out. We'll be fine. And that's definitely not been the case. The US has the most cases of this virus in the entire world right now, confirmed cases anyways. And it's definitely something that's going to play on each of us differently. Uh, but, but without a doubt, it's definitely a lot more serious for, for most of us now than we anticipated. You know, I, I did a video talking a little bit about the coronavirus and how I'm gonna kick its ass if I get it, and that's all fine and wonderful. I was not expecting or prepared for sort of the emotional toll that this was going to take on me to the point of um, the other day, and I'm just gonna be completely honest with you, I, I had like an anxiety attack when I was driving in my car. I was thinking about life, I was thinking about my family, I was thinking about my businesses, I was thinking about YouTube, I was thinking about everything. And watching everything sort of crumble and, ex and explode before your eyes is a very sobering reality. So Aaron's talked about his anxiety before. Uh, I think when I met him in person, he, he talked about that a little and he'll, he'll touch on it a little bit more. I don't know, I find it kind of interesting that someone like Aaron struggles with anxiety, but I'm not saying, of, of course I believe him, like for sure, like Aaron deals with anxiety, I believe it. I think it's, it's pretty cool that someone like Aaron who, you know, is, is the alpha, right? He teaches men's fashion, men's hair, men's etc. how to be a better person, can come and talk about the, the, the turmoil that goes on inside of him. Anxiety has never really played a big part in my life personally uh, and so I'm definitely curious to hear from from those of you guys who do struggle with anxiety has this uh, pandemic kind of triggered any of that for you and if so how and why has it affected you personally or is it because of other people around you I'm just kind of interested to, to hear um, how anxiety is playing into this pandemic because it obviously is um, but yeah, just a little bit more detail, let me know. I know that there are gonna be some people in the comments being like, oh, poor you, poor you, and oh, there are people that have it worse. Yes, that's the other point of this. One of the other reasons why I feel this incredible sense of, of anxiety is that I realize that there are so many of you out there that are suffering like, like bad, like horribly so. Like, like <sighs> So yeah, Aaron gets uh, visibly emotional. I guess is the best best way to put it right here. And it's all good points. You know, I don't know if it if it sounds selfish or what, but the biggest things that affect me are things that affect me. It doesn't mean that I'm, I'm not thinking about others, but I guess it's just kind of hard when you can't control the situation in order to help other people. You know, during this time when we're all supposed to be inside, what can we do to help those who have it worse than we do. And maybe obviously, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a police officer, I'm not a medical professional. There might be an answer that I don't know. But when I don't have control over a situation, I don't tend to be as bothered as if there is a situation that 
I do have control over and I can fix, then that is something that, that does play um, a bigger toll on me personally. That said, he did mention about the small businesses. So, you know, Bluemon has definitely taken a big hit from this pandemic. Uh, people, for some reason, aren't styling their hair as much as they normally would. Of course, you know, I get it, we're, we're staying at home. Um, also, a lot of people have been losing their jobs. Fortunately, our company is based in, in Canada and the government is doing a really good job with like this salary subsidiary or I don't know, whatever it's called. That said, I have personally taken a huge uh, cut from my paycheck um, and that definitely does add to the stress because I'm still paying rent and I'm here in Los Angeles in Hollywood my rent is ridiculous and it's kind of hard to cover my booty during this period so that's definitely an example of how this pandemic has been upping my stress level a little bit I mean it's rough again there's there's nothing nothing that can be done and uh, for, from a personal standpoint um, other than trying to you know what I'm doing right now talking with you guys hearing you out seeing what we can all do together to just be stronger through such a terrible uh, blimp in time it's just so much and it's so hard and uh, I'm not having an easy time dealing with this and um, I, I legit the other day I freaked the fuck out. I seriously I was driving in my car and I started thinking about you know the conversations that I was about to have with with my 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 staff at Pete and Pedro. I had a call later the day with with Rob and Kelly at Tej Hanley, um, you know talking about Tej Hanley and what happens when we have to shut down like actually shipping and what what happens like how much money do we have in the bank? Are we able to float this business? Everything that he's talking about, when I, I fortunately, I, I made it to Vancouver um, just before the lockdown happened. So I was able to spend a few days with my team and everything that Aaron is talking about here is stuff that we were talking about. We were we were prepared and we still are prepared to take some big measures because at the end of the day, um, you know, we are still like a, I don't know, small to medium sized business and our month to month income that the business makes is hugely important to the success and the continued uh, growth of the company and just to be able to make sure that we, it doesn't have to shut down. I am very blessed to have a, a great team at Bluemon. Um, everyone is very understanding of the situation and the measures that have to be taken in order to prolong the lifespan of, of our company and you know not go bankrupt. So yeah, we've had to talk about like what if our fulfillment shuts down? Uh, what if we're not being able to deliver these products anymore? What if people just like stop buying products right now? Because, uh, and it's not just me that's dealing with it. It's not just Aaron, it's millions and millions millions of businesses, I don't know if it's millions and millions, it's millions and millions of people for sure that work for these kind of businesses that kind of are in limbo. You don't really know if you're gonna have a job to go back to. You don't really know if your company is gonna be there when you go back. Right now, I'm, I'm in firm belief that Blue One is gonna be okay, but it's because we've got smart people, thankfully, uh, on my team that are able to strategize and plan for these kind of difficult times. But yeah, for sure, uh, totally relate with what Aaron is going through with, with what he's saying. You know, when, when you think about, you know, being a YouTuber, you just think about, you know, you see people and you think, wow, what an incredible life. And it's a great job and all. But with that does come a tremendous amount of anxiety and, and pressure and stress. Yeah, uh, yeah, pressure, stress, for sure. I was just thinking the other day, um, I can't remember the last time that I wasn't constantly thinking of a next video. You know, and I don't upload nearly as much as like Aaron. I think he does at least five a week. I upload Mondays and Fridays, but even that just, I'm constantly thinking of the next video to make. And I've been doing that for at least six years now. And I just was thinking like, I wonder what it, it will be like to not have to think about making videos anymore. Like that's gonna be an interesting day whenever whenever, uh, whenever I decide to shift from YouTube. But it's true, it's it's a constant pressure. And then especially when you've got like this this pandemic going on and now the, the content that we make has to be changed as well. Like we, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense to be making like style tips as much. Doesn't make sense to be like how to talk to girls in person, you know, stuff like that. So it's, it's a big shift in terms of the kind of content that's created and is this the right content to be making for you guys during this time? So for sure, there's a, there's a lot of increased pressure there. You know, stress and pressure to stay relevant, to put out content that you guys wanna watch. Um, and when views are bad, you beat yourself up. It's just this constant like, 
you know, it's a battle emotionally. The first thing I've done that has made a dramatic impact on me, like staying sane and like getting things like under control is sticking with my routine. Sticking to as close of a daily routine as possible is critical to you maintaining sanity and just staying in a schedule, right? Schedules are incredibly important. Uh, yeah, very true. This was what my last video was literally talking about, was uh, the importance of sticking to your daily routine as if you would be going outside. Uh, like I said in the last video, so easy to turn up the slob knob, just become, you know, you're like, I'm inside, no one's seen me, I'm wearing sweats and a hoodie all day, every day, sitting on the couch eating pizza and popcorn. As great as that sounds for like a one-off Saturday, trust me, I've been there. It's fantastic every now and again. Doing this every day, it's gonna build the habit of, uh, of, of unmotivation. I don't know if that's a habit. It's gonna build the tendency to, to lean towards being unmotivated rather than sticking to your schedule, getting ready and getting things done. The fourth thing that I have had to almost completely remove from my day is the news. So this is a, an instance where we're quite different. Um, and I know, you know, again, people react to things different ways. For a lot of people, the news just adds to that intensity and that pressure. It doesn't do that for me. Um, again, I'm not constantly looking at the news like for, for updates just all the time, but I am curious to know, you know, how is this progressing? How bad is it getting? And uh, keeping up to date with that kind of stuff, I find more interesting than fear inducing, if that makes sense. Because I know, you know, with these things, they all have the curve, right? So it has to get to the worst it can in order to start getting better. So I'm looking forward to the day when we stop seeing drastic new cases and we start seeing it level out because then we know that we are nearing the other side. I can't keep hearing about this situation. And I found that the more I listen, the more I talk to people about it, the more anxious I got, the more stressed out I became, and the more hopeless I felt. And that's a completely fair enough reaction. Um, for Everyone should be doing exactly what they can do to minimize their anxiety, to minimize their stress, and to just minimize, almost minimize the fact that the world is just in complete chaos at the moment. And the last thing that I have had to do in order to help deal with my anxiety over the situation is keep my brain occupied. Um, you know, it, it, it sounds funny, but when this bad boy is like left to just like wander, it gets a little crazy, right? And it gets anxious and I start worrying and all that stuff. That's a, a very big reason, I believe, why Alpha is so... Aaron, I gotta call him Aaron. A very big reason why Aaron is just so driven to do the, to do these videos, to make these companies and stuff like that. It's all, like, I cannot relate, like I can easily just relax and not think about anything and be pretty happy. Aaron, uh, as he just said, cannot. He has to constantly be thinking about something something more or something next. And uh, I wish that I had a little bit more of that because it's, you know, it's, it's what creates that drive for him to be able to do all of this stuff. If he stops it, then he starts freaking out a little bit. He's, the, his anxiety starts to increase. And um, yeah. as much of a negative as that can sound on one hand, it's definitely, if you handle it correctly, like, like Aaron has, uh, it can be huge positive and, and give you huge uh, payout uh, in terms of your success or your drive to succeed. I'm quite a homebody anyways, uh, which, you know, this falls into the whole like extroverted, introverted. I'm somewhere kind of in the middle. I'm quite happy to be at home. I also enjoy meeting up with friends, but I don't have to be doing that all the time. And in fact, I'm usually, I'm, I'm at home more often than I am hanging out with friends anyways. So I think that's another reason why like this lockdown hasn't, as of yet, I mean, I know we still have a, a, a long ways to go, but as of yet, it hasn't like started to drive me crazy. Uh, of course, I've got who is my wife, fantastic friend. We hang out a lot, we do things together. And I'm also just trying to keep busy with like these kind of videos, you know? So the lockdown hasn't hit me personally too hard yet, but I'm not sure how much longer I'll be able to take it before I start feeling like I just gotta get outside. And so what I have had to do is actually start start occupying my time more. I'm listening to more audiobooks. I'm learning more things on, on Skillshare. Um, See, everything that Aaron, when he has this problem, he does something uh, as a solution. That's a very healthy outlook on life. And um, it's something that I'm sure like a lot of us have heard about. Like you, if you're feeling this way, do this. For some people, it's more natural than others. So, so Aaron over here is occupying his time with actually good habits, like learning. I'm sure there's so many of us uh, occupying our time with more video games uh, and also 
like connect the dot books. I don't know, something that is maybe fun temporarily, but doesn't really progress you that much in life. Now I'm not over here saying that I'm spending my time constantly learning new things, but on top of the entertainment, you know, video games, Netflix, etc., I am trying to do like this kind of video, just more reactionary based, because so many of my videos are scripted, where I just can take all the time I need to script my video, and then I'm able to say it back to the camera, just, you know, read off my script and kind of say what I just read. Doing these reaction kind of videos is like forcing my brain to get into a place it hasn't been in a long time in, in, in the sense of just kind of speaking to you as it comes into my head. And I don't, maybe that sounds funny, but because I haven't had to do that in so long, it, it feels like an exercise right now. So, uh, you know, just there's, there's so many different ways that you can exercise your mind. And uh, I encourage you guys to find some ways that are enjoyable to you rather than spending all of your downtime uh, doing fun stuff, but maybe it's not like that future proof or building towards a better future for yourself. But with that said, yeah, the things that I'm trying to stick to is a good workout routine, mostly doing it through like Instagram lives. And if you saw my last video, you know what I'm talking about. Experimenting a little here on the channel with like these reactionary type of videos, uh, especially during this time when we kind of have to think about switching up the content. And overall, my stress level is increased, but it's not like drastically increased as of yet. Before I finish this up, let me go ahead and fill you in with the uh, Bloom on Counterfeit update that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. As of April 20. 2020, which is this month, any Bluemont product that you order outside of Bluemont.com or our official Bluemont uh, store on Amazon should have authentic hologram labels on the packaging that acts as an authentic product identifier. And it's gonna look like this sticker right here. Basically, there are different retailers selling um, our products on Amazon and it's getting harder for us to identify the legitimacy of these products. So your best bet is ordering Bluemont products directly from our website, bluemont.com, or make sure uh, if you're in the USA that if you're ordering on Amazon, it says buy Bluemont under the product because that means that it's coming from our official store. If you order from a different retailer on Amazon or a different website altogether and your product comes without an authentication sticker, there's a chance that it, it could be a fake product or expired or something like that and you should return it and get a refund uh, immediately. Please remember that if you do order from bloomon.com or our official Amazon store, you will not be getting the uh, holographic sticker because it's coming directly from us. Therefore, it is automatically verified as legit. So if it's from us, no sticker. If you're ordering from a different retailer, there should be a sticker. If there's no sticker, that's a red flag, return the product. Make sense? Good. My heart definitely goes out to those who are in more unfortunate circumstances, whether you've lost your pay altogether or you're in an abusive household and you can't get out because I know that's been an increasing um, thing that I've been hearing about as well. Uh, I just really hope that this can get over as quick as possible. And the best thing you can continue to do is stay at home. Don't put anyone in harm's way, even if you don't think that you're infected. Stay home, do your part. We're all, that, that's the best thing that any of us can do right now. I'm very interested to hear how the pandemic has been affecting you personally. Personally, um, have you been experiencing more anxiety? Have you been experiencing more stress? Or has it not really been that big of a hit on you? Let, let me know, let's open up a conversation down below. Uh, I'll hang around in the comment section, get back to you guys and let's just talk about this and, and see where we're all at. Think of it as like an online therapy session.